Hey everybody, it's Kayla with Glitter Chimp coming to you today from my craft room to give you guys a really fun tutorial on doing alcohol ink serape. And this is kind of a fun thing that I've started seeing online and it's just kind of a cool thing. So I figured, hey, why not do a video on it? Um, so it's really cool because you're using ink in a new way, using a paintbrush. And instead of doing like a wood grain, you basically hold it onto the cup, let the cup spin, it makes the line for you. And you make really cool and unique patterns with the ink, especially when they blend together. So it's a very simple video um, because this, I mean, whenever you guys see the video, it's a very quick process. Um, instead of using my cup turner in this video though, I'm actually gonna use a power drill with a foam football stuck on the end of a drill bit. And the reason is because when you use a, the, a drill instead of your cup turner, you get a faster rotation of the cup, which makes you have very simple, smooth lines where you don't end up with like one spot where the ink is like very intense and then it fades. Um, and that's only because I tried it with my cup turner. Now my cup turner is not as fast as some that are out there. So um, some cup turners it may work for mine though it just wasn't fast enough to get the clean look of the lines that I was going for um, so I used my husband's power drill and it made it I mean two amazing cups so we're going to get the camera set up turned down so y'all can see how I do this on the drill um, but it's a lot of fun and I really hope you guys enjoy it so let's get this video started okay so I have a bunch of colors picked out Yes, I have my cup sitting on a power drill because this way I have a faster speed. And yes, my cup is not level, but that's as best as I can get it for right now. So I have, I told you guys I have a lot of colors. So I've got black, which I'm gonna add the black towards the end. Um, and that's just to kind of break up some of the color. I've got two greens here. I've got apple and agave. I've got two blues, Caribbean and Lagoon. I've got two yellows, lemon, and what's this one? Sunshine yellow, and then a pink and like a red. So I've got a magenta and Bordeaux, so it's more of a maroon. Um, so yeah, so this is what we're going to use. It's a lot, but at the same time, I think it's going to give me a cool effect to do it this way. I have like a bunch of brushes. These are just synthetic brushes that I bought in a bulk pack. Um, yeah. And of course, the reason I'm doing this is because normally with Serape, you've got different size widths of uh, bands of color. So yeah. And the cool thing too, is that with these brushes, you can go with a really thin line or you can push on it and it'll make the brush a little bit wider or you can even just go to the edge. So I really am gonna just kind of be guessing as I go along here, which is fine. That's why I do this, right? It's fun this way. So I've got, I'm gonna start with oh yeah yeah I don't know where to start okay I'm just gonna start we're gonna start with the magenta and the maroon color which is Bordeaux so what I do is I actually take these and I put them in little cups just because um it's easier for me to dip the brush in that way and I don't feel like I'm gonna you know waste too much ink in the process so we're starting with, that was magenta. Just kidding, that's magenta. Oh well, so now my Bordeaux has a little magenta in it. Oh well, we'll just add a little more. Whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this brush here. Just so, any for anyone who wants to know, this is a six. Um, <laughs> which way is this turning? That won't work. I need you to flip the other way. Okay, we're just gonna have to deal with the noise. Sorry guys. And I'm literally just gonna start right here. Fascinating. And now I'm gonna start right here. Oh my goodness. The, this is tougher. Oh my goodness, we're gonna go slower on this one. Jeez. 
Jesus. Good enough. Okay, so that is the Bordeaux color. Now my finger is pink. I'm going to get a little cup of just alcohol here so I can clean my brush because I want to use this one again. So now the magenta. This is really weird, you guys. This is the weirdest cup turner ever. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the magenta. That's pretty. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try. All right, I kind of like what's happening here so far. Okay, now the fun one, right? Why do I keep ending up with weird, there we go. Okay, so that's the two reds oh man this is getting weird okay let me put these with their perspective colors here i feel like we're maybe achieving what i'm trying to do here all right so this is going to be lagoon and this is caribbean i'm gonna make a mess today you guys all right i'm gonna go with this brush which I think is about the same size, but that's cool. So I'm starting with Lagoon. Okay, okay, we're doing exactly what I'm wanting. So this so far, <laughs> so far so good. Lagoon, where's my cleaner? All right. Probably should grab a paper towel. That makes sense, right? I'm trying to dry this on silicone. There we go. All right, so now this is Caribbean. This is a bright, bright blue. See, that's what I like. Whenever you have your colors overlap, you end up picking up and blending the two colors together, which is what I'm wanting. So now I'm gonna go up above it, right here. Got a weird little Whatever you want to call that there. There we go. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, now see, I'm really digging this. I was not sure <laughs> how this was gonna turn out. All right, so that's the blues. Now I'm gonna go in with the, I may not use the yellow. But at the same time, I feel like I may need them as a little bit of a pop or something. All right, green it is. Agave. Just going to be a darker green. And then, oops, apple, which is a lighter green. I'm going to go with this brush. I mean, it's just going to be a 
I'm gonna have the same amount of lines here, spacing at least. All right, let's go right here. Loving this so much right now. All right, yellow's going in there for sure. Gonna have some yellow. All right, because it's just a darker green, I'm just gonna go ahead and just stick it in there. So that's those two greens, so better keep what's with what. And yes, I am gonna end up using the yellow because I think it'll look cute with a little yellow here and up here. And I gotta figure out what to do with the top part. All right, so that's the green brush. So we're doing sunshine yellow and lemon. So sunshine yellow is more of like a honey honey yellow and then um lemon is of course just your normal yellow starting with sunshine yellow That's actually really pretty. Okay, so now I'm gonna go uh, here. So I'm gonna do lemon yellow, which is, I'm sorry, it's just lemon. Much of the greens wiping off, but that's okay. I'm getting ink on me. All right, so I'm gonna move this a bit. So I'm gonna go in right here with some of the lemon yellow. I haven't done that yet up there. Help if I had more ink on there. Ooh, that's beautiful. Okay, so now, what do I put up here? I'm gonna do 
This is where it gets complicated. I'm gonna do some magenta. And this is Caribbean. black but I know I need to but I don't want to forget it I'm not gonna this is just gonna be it um yeah so I'm gonna spin this for a second because I can see a couple little like I got some white here so I'm gonna clean the brush and that color is lagoon I'm making purple. All right, so that's that. And then I try to touch this part up. Okay. Yes. Okay, I'm so happy with this. Okay, so now the fun part is to the bottom. I guess I'll do it this way. <laughs> and we'll just go with the colors I have left. This will be fun. That's why I thought it'd be fun. Okay. Okay, this is difficult, but that's okay. We're gonna go with some blue. So this is Lagoon. Why is this so difficult to hold? Okay. What's this one? Apple. And I'm actually going to go back in with the, the blue. It's just awkward. All right. So there it is. <laughs> One Serape tumbler. And now I'll, what I'll do is, of course, just um, go ahead and I will spray seal this because this is just alcohol ink. Um, so I'm going to spray seal it and then put a coat of epoxy over the top of it. And it's good to decal um, from there. So that's this part. So I'm going to do is clean up my mess. And go outside, spray seal this, and then come back 
and go to the next step. Okay, guys, I've got a coat of spray seal on this, and I've got my Glitter Chimp Pro Epoxy. So we are going to go ahead and put the epoxy on this and see just how glitter free I can keep this cup since I'm not putting any glitter on it. Um, but I love how this turned out. It was so easy once I figured out the how to set the drill up. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so we're going to put some epoxy on this and then let this cure overnight and check it out in the morning. Okay, so this is not going to necessarily be a tutorial. This is going to be me goofing around um, because I have this cup. I was trying to do a serape on it and then it just, it was horrible on so many levels of horrible. Um, so then I sprayed it down with alcohol so I can get as much of the ink off as I could. And now this is what I'm left with. And normally I would just go outside and spray paint it white or black or whatever color I wanted again and start over. But then I was like, what happened if I just went ahead and did this anyway? So I'm gonna see what happens if I go over it with more ink. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same thing I did earlier. Just for fun. I mean, hey, what's the worst that could happen? I delete the video and uh, spray my the cup. So we're gonna stir it with the with Bordeaux. Oh Jesus! All right, that's not horrible, horrible. I'm gonna use a big brush here. <laughs> so far, entertaining. Don't fall. I need more paper towels. I need more paper towels. Okay. Clearly need to move where I keep my stack of paper towels. Alright, so I'm going to use... Some magenta. <laughs> this is so weird, y'all. I made a spiel. Oops. Oh well. All right. Let's see here. Okay, this is kind of interesting. So what's happening is it's sort of kind of erasing the lines, but then some of it's still popping through, which kind of is giving it a interesting look. So I'm gonna just keep rolling with it. That's what I'm gonna do. All right, so that's looking. And I'm gonna keep using this thicker brush Uh, right, so I'm gonna go 
This one is Caribbean. Fascinating. All right, I'm gonna make a thinner line. So I'm just using the side of the brush. single lagoon. I'm just going to do a thin line right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. I don't have to redo this cup because first, this is actually taking most of the ink off, which is exactly what I was hoping I would I would, it would do, but I didn't know. That's why I love alcohol inks. I'm erasing my mistakes. And here's all I did. The problem was I was using my cup turner, which is not a fast spinning cup turner, to do the ink, the Serape ink thing. And the problem with that is um, I was ending up with really harsh, like, lines where I would start and it was irritating, so I quit doing it. <laughs> and so now I'm just going to do all this on on the drill. All right, so I'm gonna just go again with the side of the brush. right now. <laughs> so I'm tell Michael for my birthday now. I want a power drill of my own so I could do this weird stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna do Apple now. I keep feeling like this is gonna tip over for some reason. It is, okay, it's gonna, it's gonna tip over. All right, so I'm gonna go back in with the Bordeaux. And do this top line here.
Okay, so here's the deal. The other cup I did was very bright and rainbow colored and I didn't want to put black on it, but because this one's just now me goofing around, I'm gonna put some black ink on here in a few spots. And this is either gonna totally ruin this or it's gonna make it awesome. I have ink now all over my hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna find the thinnest brush that I have. And yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Basically, it's just a darker serape. I wonder why it's not wanting to stay right there. horrifying so hey let's just roll with it wish I had a thinner brush god I wish I had a thinner brush like just like a hold on maybe I do a little better <laughs> I don't know what brush is worse oh I really like how this looks I don't want to do too much on there okay I have a fun idea for this cup so anyways so now we've just made a brand new serape cup and I didn't have to redo anything which is even better news to me Saves me a little time. All right, that's gonna just tip over as soon as I let go. So, oh, see, there's my awesome contraption there of my cup turner. So here we go, we did this just now. Again, this was a cup that I totally messed up on and now it looks beautiful. <laughs> Y'all saw what it looked like at the beginning. So anyways, so here's this, but I think I'm gonna do something kind of funky to this one. Um, in another video. So here's me fixing a cup. Um, and here's the one we did. Oh my goodness. Just a second ago. And I love this one. Again, I'm just going to spray seal this. Because I don't want the ink to do anything weird. Because sometimes that can happen. And um, yeah. Just going to go ahead and spray seal both of these. And then get some epoxy on these. And we'll move on to the next part of the video. Alright you guys. Here's the two cups we did in the video. Um, this is the one that I did first and I love how the colors turned out. I did say that I would probably still end up getting glitter on it. So let me, oh, yep. I've got one speck of glitter on this tumbler, which is fine. It's no big deal. It's kind of funny though. It's, it's a gold piece of glitter in the yellow. So it's kind of perfect. Um, but anyway, so I've got this one done and then this is the one where I, um, the one that I had showed you guys where it was just all kinds of messed up and it, it literally was a hot mess. Um, but this is the one I started on my cup turner, didn't like it, took it off, wiped it down. Um, but this is the one we did second and I mean, it, it actually kind of erased all the lines. I don't even see them. I mean, I can see, I guess a little bit right there, but otherwise it's a very beautiful tumbler. I was actually going to put some glitter on this with it and I just can't cause it's just so pretty. Um, I did though, after the video, I did erase where I put that black line in here. I just didn't like it. And, but anyway, I like the dark green that it got. Um, so these are the two cups and this one, oh, let me see. Did this one get any glitter on it? I bet so. Yep. I have one little speck. See, that's why I always tell people if I'm making a non-glitter tumbler, I'm sorry, there will be at least one piece of glitter on it. But anyways, so here are the two cups that we did. These turned out super cute. These were so fast and fun to do. I, I mean, I could literally probably sit here all weekend and just do cup after cup after cup like this because the possibilities for design on this is endless. 
Um, but anyway, so these are the two cups. Um, I'm really excited about these. I do have another video I started, which is going to be posted up tomorrow. Um, but I mean, these are awesome. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, comment below, let me know that you enjoyed it. Or if you have any other suggestions of some videos you want me to do a tutorial on, comment below and I'll make sure to um, try to get one done as quickly as possible. Otherwise, make, you, make sure you subscribe to our channel, Tumblr TV, and hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos that we post. Um, because right now, I mean, we're really heavily, I am rolling out with as many cups uh, videos as I can. Um, but it's Crafters Month, and I actually have a really fun, like, whole video series next week because it's spring break for my kid. So that's going to be a lot of fun because they're all crafts and tumblers that you can do with your kids. Um, otherwise, if you have any other questions or comments that you want to know about Glitter Chimp or anything about our epoxy or whatever, join our Facebook page and our Facebook group, and we will happily answer any questions. Just find us on Facebook just under Glitter Chimp. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. We will see you guys again tomorrow for another amazing video. So you guys have a great day. See you soon.